I'm Keith Silva. This is my wife, Melissa Silva. We're here at King of the Hammers 2024. We brought our electric EV Chevy S10 to race the Everyman Challenge and the uh, Ultra 4 race. My mentality is I can't do anything half fast, so we wanted the best of every component we can run and try to get the most power out of the truck. So it evolved in what it is with the, the large Tesla motor for the big power. And basically, you know, AM was a full standalone system that I wanted. I wanted full control of this motor so we can tune every inch of it for what we're doing. And it was just do, do all the best parts and, you know, just push it to every limit we can with everything off the shelf that we can make work. We're uh, powered by a Tesla Model S. Um, this whole truck was built out of our home garage. Keith here built it in 10 months and we were able to get it fully running last year. This year is our first time racing it and being able to do a lot more power out of it than before. Uh, we were able to race yesterday. We were able to do the desert lap of EMC, special for the EV class. We were able to get through to pit one, uh, made it in about two and a half hours. Uh, with that, we were able to charge using Holly High Voltage and AEM system, their CCU and their BMS programming. Uh, we were able to charge at pit one for roughly around four hours. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a slower charge, but we were able to get it done. Get back on the lap course and we were able to finish the rest of the lap, get back into main pit, and uh, we're able to complete that first full lap. First yeah. ones to do so in any EMC course with an EV. So with the system, with the AEM system we're running, we're running the Tesla LDU for the large drive unit, running their logic board. Uh, it's powered by VCU 200, uh, controlling all that. We're running the BMS 18 to manage our batteries, uh, CCU to do all of our charging, and uh, we're running uh, the CD5 dash for data logging in the whole system. It's been a great system. and. It worked great. It beat, took the desert abuse. <laughs> AEM was able to actually get online with us uh, right before our race yep. and help us with some programming situations that we were running into. So their support has been huge being able to get online and help us out with that data logging and making sure that we're going to be able to run full capacity throughout this race course. Oh yeah, it was a fun adventure. This is our second year racing, second race for the truck and take home a trophy. You know, <laughs> first place in our class. That's, that's a feat in itself, especially to do King of the Hammers. Yeah, Holly and AEM, they've been such a support to this truck and uh, we, couldn't, we couldn't be more excited to not only have them on, our, on board with us, but also being able to run all their systems to their fullest capacity. <laughs> well, the last five miles of the race was extremely stressful. We were running on very low battery voltage, so uh, we were able to really itemize what we were having to do, trying to pick the most packed lines in the course so that we weren't overstimulating the motor too much. And oh yeah, I was watching the gauges going, okay, we have this much cell voltage left, this much max voltage left, giving her, telling her, hey, how many vials do we have left? Trying to run calculations in my head real quick. Once we crested rev uh, resolution, we knew we were good because that was our last climb. So it was all downhill from there and we got to the Bronco Arch and we're just screaming the whole way going, oh, we made it, we made it. We're so close. Well, then the battery kept, we kept, <laughs> kept uh, shutting off because we were so you know, low we on were, voltage. We came in at, for the EV people, they know, uh, you know, a 2.5 cell average is low. We were at a 2.7 when we got here. We were able to get a nice little jump at the end, catch catch some air and uh, we were, you know, you can't, you can't describe that joy of knowing that something that we built out of our own home was able to complete the world's hardest one day off-road race. And uh, I couldn't be more proud of the fabricator here. <laughs> Keith here is the, the, he's the driver. Um, I'm the co-driver for him. And it's just been us two for the last couple years. It's a home built truck. If you can get a wrecked Tesla like we did and being able to make it work and have these outside components that you're able to buy online or in the store and uh, and get it to perform the way that we ask it to perform. You know, uh, there's always bigger and better things. Um, we have a lot of data to look at with AEM system and making sure we can run the numbers, see where we wasted energy and see where we can consume more later on. Make it uh, more efficient, make it perform faster and better. and. Like I said, just pe keep progressing the truck and progressing the sport. And you know, our goal is we want to do the whole, the whole EMC race. So that is where we're pushing the future of this truck. And we'll be back for more. We ain't done yet. We're going to push the boundaries even more with this truck and just keep evolving the sport and keep on pushing the limits of it.